Hi everyone, hope all are doing well. In today's video, I want to talk about taxes. And I want to talk about that when you receive your paycheck, how the taxes are deducted. And as an international student, you are exempted from paying certain taxes. So this information is not that much available. And that's why I want to make this video to spread this news more so that all who are in the position like me can take a benefit from this information. And, uh, you know, if, if your taxes are being withheld that don't need to be withheld, you can get a refund on that. So let's start with what this is and how you can see if your taxes are being deducted properly or not. So as an, as an employee, when we start working, we usually fill in a W-4. Now, those who don't know what a W-4 is, it's basically a form that we're given for, with our initial information. And we also fill in that how we want our taxes to be deducted. So that at the end of the year, when we file for a re return, we are not paying rather than our taxes are in balance to what we owe to IRS. So the tax that I'm talking about here, it, it is called FICA, F-I-C-A, which stands for Federal Insurance Contributions Act. It is a type of federal payroll tax that when you, when you see your paycheck, it is in the form of Social Security and Medicare. Now, as an international student, when we are in the U.S. for a period of less than five years and we are working for an employer uh, with whom our education matches, we are exempted from paying these taxes. Now, this is not something that I have crafted or I am saying without any, any source. I, um, from here, I really uh, want to give this information in a concise way by taking you to the website of IRS. So here we are on IRS website and I want to read certain lines from here, which will help you more understanding this information. So <clears throat> let's start with the very top where it says that aliens performing service in United States as employees are liable for US social security and Medicare taxes. Now this is what I'm saying here that social security and Medicare taxes together are called FICA tax. However, Certain class of foreign employees are exempt from US social security and Medicare taxes. Means that certain class do not need to pay these taxes or these taxes do not need to be withheld from your paycheck. Now, how they have divided this, they have divided us into resident aliens and non-resident aliens. So obviously if we are working on a student visa or we are on an F1 visa status, we are non-resident aliens. So I'm going to skip the resident aliens part because if you land in that category, this video is not for you. But for others, uh, non-resident aliens are also liable for Social Security and Medicare taxes. They need to pay them with certain exemptions. So we need to focus here on the word with certain exemptions based on their non-immigrant status. So if we move a little it says non-resident alien student under. So you need to see your visa status, your category. It has to be F1, J1, or M1. If you are an H1B, this video is not for you. But if you are for F1, J1, or M1, this is where we land. And then we are classified as non-resident aliens. Now, if we scroll a little, you can see that the foreign students who are temporarily present in the U.S., status with these three visa statuses less than five calendar years so you can calculate the day you were stamped your visa and how many years you have in total you can get that information if it is for less than five years under their specific section and whatever the information they have given we are exempt from social security and medicare taxes on the wages that are paid to us within united states now, if we are reading further, it says to qualify for this exemption, the service performed need to be allowed by the USCIS, which we all know that we can only work on an OPT or on a STEM OPT basis if our education and our employment both match. And then if that is the case, we are exempted from these taxes. So just moving a little ahead, it says exempt employment includes if you're working on campus, 
for up to 20 hours a week off campus student like who are working like me or more other students who are working on OPT or STEM OPT off campus students employment allowed by USCIS. So this is very important. And then practical training students employment on or off campus. So if you land in this category, you can file for an exemption. And then there are certain limitations on exemptions. So you need to make sure that you're not in these particular statuses. And if your employment does not connect with what your visa was issued, you are not uh, acceptable for an exemption. And the exemption does not apply for F1, J1, or M1 students who change to another immigration status, which is not exempt. So if you have changed your status, you are not um, acceptable for this. And others who have now become a resident alien with this particular visa status, they are also not uh, exempted from this. So this information I wanted to share, it's all on IRS website. I can add this link here in my video, but if you feel that everything that it's written here, it's falling within your category, you can apply for, uh, for a refund. Now from here, if you think that you fall in this category, I want to take you to another link, which will give you an information on how you can get this refund back. The first thing is obviously you can consult your employer and your employer will have all your information in their payroll system and they can classify you as, a, as an exempt or a non-exempt from certain taxes. So that's the easiest way to, to get that refund. So moving down a little, a refund for taxes withheld in error. If your social security and Medicare taxes were withheld in error, contact the employer who withheld the taxes for a refund. So this is the very first and the most simple way to get the refund by contacting your employer and letting them know that you are exempted from these taxes, only social security and Medicare. Now, the other case when you might not be working for that particular employer and now it's a little difficult to get the refund because the taxes have already been filed for that year by your employer, or you might no longer be working for that particular company, there is a, there's another way to get a refund in that it's a little long process, but what you need to do, you need to follow these steps and you need to submit these forms to the IRS and then they can issue you the refund. Now for this, you need to fill in certain forms. There is a form 843. It's a very simple form. I can, I'll be making another video on this one, particularly on how to fill these forms and how to submit this to IRS, but that's a separate topic of discussion. But in case you prefer to go the second route, you need to fill in a form 843. You need to have a copy of your form W-2 to prove that these taxes were withheld. You need a copy of your visa stamp. You need your I-94. If applicable, you need a certification from your DSO. And then you need to obtain a uh, a statement from your employer that these taxes were withheld and your employer is unable to get a refund for you. If not, you need to make your own statement. So I have all this information and I'll be making a separate video in this to showcase you how these documents need to be structured and how you can uh, create a, a, a statement on your own and put in the information that you need in order to get that refund. Lastly, you need to fill in another form, 8316. And once you have all these forms submitted, uh, you, you collect all this information, you need to submit this to IRS and this particular address to make sure that you can, you can apply for your refund. So I know this was a little, little technical and a little long process when you need to get a refund from IRS, but this is how it is. And I think it was very important for me to share this information because I believe uh, this will be helpful for all those who are either working right now and don't know that their taxes were withheld or who need to start job, for them this will be helpful from the very beginning. But make sure you read all the instructions and make sure you land within that category to get that refund or to get that exemption. So I hope this video was helpful. Uh, 
post in comments and you need if you need more information if you need more clarity or more help in any of the things that i went over and i'll be very happy to elaborate and do watch my other videos on rfes and how to how to respond to an rfe because rfes are very common and i uh, can help you with that in case you want some information some guidance i am not an expert or any of connected to any lawyer or attorney but i can put in my information my experience of the process that i have gone through and can certainly help you to come up with a solution so do reach me out on my email in case you need any help on that and post in comments or reach out to me in case you need more information on fica taxes and how uh, how you think if if you if you are exempted how to go along in that as a process so i hope this was helpful and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you.